Perfect brunch. That's why Don, the culinary development chef from our good friends at over at Earl's Restaurant, joining us right now, already starting with the French yes, toast on the pan. We are. Because it takes a bit longer, we're going to start off with that first and then work our way backwards in creating this fabulous dish. That way we can okay. have the taste test yes. at the end. Uh, okay. A lot going on on the table. Mm -hmm. The main ingredients to, to get started. Where do we go? Well, we're going to jump from uh, the French toast to the actual French toast mix, which is uh, six eggs. I'm going to ask you to break two eggs for me. Okay. All right. And crack There's those one in. One, perfect. Six eggs in the six mix. Six eggs. And then we're going to have half a cup of milk. Yep. Half a cup of cream. Get that in. All right, I'll do the whisking. You do the whisk. I can handle that part. Get some upwards. cream in there. Yeah. And this is a brand new thing at Earl's too, right? Yes, we just started uh, brunch last week. Uh, a lot of guests were asking for brunch, so it's very exciting for us. It's all new. We're excited. Um, oh, we're just going to finish off with a little bit of uh, vanilla. Why not? And we're going to add a little orange zest into this mix, just to give it a little tang. Okay. So if you can wish just a bit harder, we don't want any egg yolks I'm in there. I'm trying not to get know, splash on my blazer. Okay, I, right, I don't perfect. have a fancy outfit I like I should have grabbed you an apron this morning. Okay. There we go. So just there. a bit more. Yep. Just adds a lot more depth to our French toast. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so while you're doing that, mm -hmm. we're going to get the second one into the pan. And this bread that we're making, you know, uh, my favorite dish I was saying uh, to you during the break, the uh, Mediterranean chicken linguine, the brunch I have yet to try. This bread uh, is very unique that you guys make it in-house at the restaurant, yeah? Yeah, we do. We actually have a starter, which is an actual leavener. And each store has their own starter. We've had the starter for two years now. Yeah. So every morning the chefs make their own sourdough in-house and we use it on quite a few dishes. Nice. Uh, very excited. It's uh, we're getting a lot of hype for the sourdough and we thought why not introduce it into our brunch items. Why not? Put it on so there. We're going to flip the first one. We want a nice caramelization. We're really working over medium medium heat, if you will, so you get this nice caramelization on. How long on each toast. side usually to get That's the toast ready? About uh, three minutes to each side. Okay. Just because it's quite dense and it's chewy and everything, we just want to make sure that it's warm inside and it has a nice exterior as well. Okay. We want to okay. take our time with it, get it done okay. right. Okay. So what we're going to do next, I'm going to have you dip one slice. Yep. One more slice inside. Okay. Just down like this, nice and simple. Nice and simple, perfect. What you want to do is you want to, uh, I'll give you a little pair of tongs here so you're not using your hands. Okay. And we want to be able to uh, absorb most of that mixture in the bread okay. because it is quite dense as well, right? So probably about 10 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds on either side. Yep. That's not, yeah, that's about 15 seconds. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll get the uh, second pan going with a little bit of butter. So we're going to put this on. Now I'm seeing the berries, I'm seeing the cream. Uh, yes. We're going to get to some toppings. Uh, let's put this okay. uh, Perfect. Right I'm going to bring this part. right to you. Look at that teamwork. Beautiful. Okay. okay. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to just move this bread aside so we can plate. Okay. Okay. And All the right. berries, you guys have a really good tip. I know you've laid out the, the puree and the ice cube tray. Mm -hmm. What's the uh, good way to capitalize on the local uh, berries we have now? Well, I think with, especially when they're ripe, it's, it's a good way to, what we've done here is uh, we've taken most of our ripe berries, we've made a coulis, which is no more than just your fresh berries, uh, apple, uh, apple juice and sugar and mm -hmm. lemon juice. And what we want to do is just put them into ice cube trays so you have individual portions. So you can use this all, uh, all year round with just uh, French toast or waffles and you know you have that uh, summertime flare going on in the nice dead of winter. Nice little kick, nice little yes. kick. Okay well I'll tell you okay. we have we have Earl's gift certificate $75 if you want in on us in on this email us contest at btvancouver.ca subject line uh, let's go French toast and we're going to continue Ready? dressing this. All right I'm going to get I'm going to get your help here. Okay. Okay so what you want to do is we're going to put a nice big dollop of the Chantilly whipped cream which is just in that bowl there and don't okay. be shy. No don't nice, worry I won't yeah, be, don't shy. be shy. Nice big right dollop. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Oh, that's good. Yeah. No, don't move. We'll have a little mound okay. there. <laughs> a little particular. No, you grab the blueberries and we'll team up on this one. That's why she's okay. the development chef. Well, listen, we're going to take it to break. We're going to put these berries on. We'll okay. do the taste test right after because you know Jody's going to want to taste this too. I think so. Okay. okay. You All ready? Right. Quick break. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll do the berries. Okay. Any technique with the berries? You know what? Just let them fall naturally. I want to stay yeah. on your side. Yeah, you're on my side. All right. I don't think it all works. There we go. Oh, it's okay, slipping wow. off. Is that? Well, that's, you know, what slip off to it. That's okay. That's okay.